Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on digital communication. We are discussing the information theory part and in that we are discussing the convolutional code. I already told you the introduction towards the convolutional code. If you have not watched my previous video, you can go to my previous video, watch that first and then come to this video. So in that I already discussed the introduction towards convolutional code, different types of encoding and decoding. So I already told you this structure. So I already told you that how I can generate x1 and x2. x1 as you can see from here x1 is the modulo 2 addition of m0 and m1 and m2. Whereas x2 is the modulo 2 addition of m0 and m2. So this is how I can find out x1 and x2. Now what I said the encoded sequence was given by in this form x1 x2 x1 x2 x1 x2 after every shifting so for this message bit 1011 and when the initial bits are all zero we found out different values of m0 m1 m2 and x1 x2 so for your reference i am again making it So for another sequence that is 111, I'll also find out the output which is 01. So now I told you after that that we have 2 raised to power n number of states where n 2 raised to power n minus 1 number of states where n is the number of memory elements. So for here I have 2 raised to power 3 minus 1, I have 3 memory elements which is 2 square is equal to 4 states. So I represented the 4 states like this. So in that video I told you how I can find out the code tree of this sequence. Now I will tell you the generalized code tree and after that we will derive the code tree of this sequence from the generalized code tree. So let's begin. So we, we suppose that we started from 0 input, so all the states are 0. Now the first input could be 0 or 1. I told you if I have 0 input, I will move upside. If I have 1 input, what I will do? I will move downside. So I am taking both of the possibility that the input could be 0 or 1. So now this is representing my one input when I had one input after zero input. So the first input is one. So here the output was one one. When again zero was added, so m not m one m two would be zero zero. So for this output would be zero zero. So now moving to the next step. So again it is shifted. So after this step here I can have 0 or 1. Similarly here the next input could be either 0 or 1. So here 0, here 1. So again it would be all 0, 0, 0, 0 input. So at that time the output would be 0. Now the M0 is 1, M1 is 0 and M2 is 0. So for 1, 0, 0. For 100, 0, 0, the output is 11. 1, 1. So now here also for 0, I have m0 0, m11, 1, 1, m2 0. So 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0 represents 10. So here I have 10. Similarly, here it is represented by 1, 1, 0. So for 1, 1, 0, the output is 0, 1. So again, I can have two possibilities. So here I can have two possibilities either 0 or 1. Here also two possibilities 0 or 1. Here also two possibilities. Here also two possibilities. So now let's understand what would be m0, m1, m2. Here it is 0, 0, 0. So again it would be 0, 0. Here it would be 1, 0, 0. 
So for 1, 0, 0, you can see the output is 1, 1. Here it would be 0, 1, 0. So for 0, 1, 0, you can see the output is 1, 0. Here the output is 1, 0. And for 1, 1, 0, you can see output is 0, 1. Similarly, here the output is 0, 0, 1. So for 0, 0, 1, the output is 1, 1. So here it is 1, 0, 1. So for 1, 0, 1, output is 0, 0. Similarly, here you can see the output is 0, 1, 1. So for 0, 1, 1, it is 0, 1. And for 1, 1, 1, it is 1, 0. So now again making the next tree. So here I have 0, here I have 1. Again 0, 1. So now again you can see this input is 0, 0, 0. So output would be 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, it would be 1, 1. 0, 1, 0. For 0, 1, 0, it is for 0, 1, 0, it is 1, 0. For 1, 1, 0. So for 1, 1, 0, it is 0, 1. Similarly, for 0, 0, 1. For 0, 0, 1, it is 1, 1. After that, for 1, 0, 1, it is 0, 0. After that, for 0, 1, 1. For 0, 1, 1. So I don't have 0, 1, 1. I'll add 0, 1, 1 as well. So for 0, 1, 1, I would have 0, 1. After that, I have 1, 1, 1. So for it has 1, 0. For 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Again, 0, 1, 0. So for 0, 1, 0, it is 1, 0. Here it would be 1, 0, 1. For 1, 1, 0. Now for again 0, 0, 1. For 0, 0, 1, it is 1, 1. For 1, 0, 1, it is 0, 0. For 0, 1, 1. For 0, 1, 1, it is 0, 1. And after that, for 1, 1, 1, it is 1, 0. So now, this is my generalized quote tree. So now, if I have to find out the quote tree for this message bit. So, this is my LSB. You can see this is my LSB and this is my MSB. So first term which is added to the input 0. First my registers are in 0 state. The first bit which is added is 1. So now what I'll do? I'll follow this path. I'll go from here. I'll go downwards towards 1. So input is 1 which means I am going from here. Again, the next bit is 1. So again, I'll reject the upside which is 0. I'll move toward downside which is 1. So after that, the input is 0. So I'll reject the downside which is 1. I'll move upside. After that, the input is 1. This is the LSB. So again, I'll move downside. So this is representing the code tree of this message bit which is 1011. So 1011 is represented using quote tree by re represented by this dotted line. So here I have state A, B, C, D. So this is how I can represent the quote tree using the generalized quote tree of any message sequence. So here I'll stop my discussion. In my next video, I'll discuss the state diagram. Stay tuned for that video. I hope you like this video. Press the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.